We don't know why there are three. So, so, it's a good so job. the there particles are. of the universe are in triplicate, yeah. except we are familiar only with that lowest energy regime yeah. with the, with electrons and and, yeah, and then we discovered the other ones and and we yeah. we, we, uh, we with some very straight little caveats we, we know there are no more than 3 why not um how do you know there are no more than 3 be, because it was so the caveats are, are very weak but so at the uh lep collider at cern um throughout, throughout the the 1980s 1990s that that machine was well, it was built in the 80s it was run through the 90s and and did you have a position at CERN for a while? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I worked on the, as we we're building the LHC, I worked on some ideas for little detectors close to the beams and, okay. and so on on the Atlas experiment. Before that, there was an electron-positron collider there called LEP, which was in the same tunnel. And that was really a, a factory to make things called Z bosons, or Z bosons, as I call them. And um, they're to do with one of the forces of nature, the weak force. And by measuring exactly the, the, what's called the lifetime, the behavior, let's say, of that particle, you can see how many things it can decay into. How many, because basically the general rule in particle physics is if you're very massive and you can fall to bits into lighter things, then you will. And the more chance there is, the more things you can fall to bits into, the, 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 more, the more rapidly you fall to bits, right, basically.